a lesson for all daily at 6 a.m. Hello again everyone. Welcome to this final summary in Alpha for this season. I enjoy daily let us pray. Again, oh Father, we want to just thank you for the presence of the Holy Spirit in our midst. May he illuminate our hearts and our minds now as we go through the study of your words. In Jesus' name, amen. Brothers and sisters, we have journeyed through the book of Deuteronomy and what a journey it has been. There are three takeaways from this week's lesson. One, God's justice and mercy and grace. Moses, in his justified anger towards the rebellious Israelites, incurred God's justice, but praised the Lord that justice was tempered with mercy and grace. Number two, death and resurrection. Deuteronomy speaks about Moses' death, but not so much about his resurrection. Jude gave us an insight into that. We also read about Moses' being one of two men who ministered to Jesus on the Mount of Transfiguration. At, at Moses' resurrection, the, the devil contended with Jesus for, for Moses' body. I am thankful that Jesus did not have a conversation with the devil. Instead, he just simply rebuked him because he knew what he did for Moses. Number three, the great controversy. Since Satan's rebellion, there has been a battle raging between right and wrong, good and evil. It seems that there is no end in sight, but we know the story. We know how it will end. We have read the end of the book. Number four, there is great significance in the confrontation captured in the book of Jude. The events of Moses' resurrection showcase um, in a miniature way the great controversy between God and Satan. The dispute between Michael, the great warrior who is Jesus Christ, and Satan captures the fate of the whole world. Here's my takeaway from the lesson. When Satan brings his raiding accusations against us, Jesus doesn't argue with him, for guess what? We're guilty. Jesus has just one thing to say, I rebuke you. He or she is a brand plucked from the fire. And that, my friend, is a lesson for all. Let us pray. Our Father, we are thankful for Jesus' ministry on our behalf, that when the devil comes in, to bring his raining accusation, he stands up for us and he rebuke that old devil, that serpent. We are thankful that we have this assurance that eternal life is ours through Jesus Christ our Lord. May we lay hold on this promise and live our lives in accordance to it as we ask it in his name. Amen. Thank you for journeying with us through this season of Alpha. Join us again tomorrow when we begin a new journey in the book of Hebrews. All the best for 2022. A lesson for all, daily at 6 a.m.